Hey everybody, here's an example of a very high quality CPU core. Now this is actually an air core. Now of course as we all know water cooling is pretty much a better way to go but when it comes to air cooling this right here is a very very nice cooler. Now you're thinking hey it's not that it's not really all that big. They make coolers much bigger nowadays. Well, yeah, this is a much older cooler. This is from a um, Socket 478 Pentium 4. But have a look at this. This is a solid piece of copper. With the exception of the screws. But we have a copper base. Which is looks relatively smooth. We have these copper heat pipes. And copper fins. This thing has to weigh at least three, maybe four pounds tops. It's definitely got some weight to it. And of course, most of the coolers like this nowadays have copper bases, copper heat pipes, but aluminum fins. That's typically what you would find with today's air coolers. But you'll find these very high quality coolers here, like this one, that are all copper. And as we all know, copper conducts a lot better than aluminum, especially when it comes to thermal conductivity. This is the um, heat sink that came out of that recent parts computer that was in a Thermaltake case and had that unique socket 478 Pentium 4 gigabyte motherboard. This figure is going to give you guys a little closer look at this cooler because I only was able to get sort of an overview of it because of it having that big fan on top. It had a 120 millimeter fan with a fan adapter that adapted from 120 millimeter to 80 millimeter, and now it's all zip tied together onto this thing. But yeah, just check this out, and I figure I'm going to give you a close look at it right quick before I end this video. I imagine this CPU cooler had to have cost a good bit of money, and of course, in its copper value, is probably still worth a good bit of money. Not sure I'm gonna use it for just yet. If I was going to, if I was going to use it with something newer, I'd have to adapt it because it's designed to line up with a socket um, 478 motherboard. In the worst case scenario, this thing has likely has very good um, scrap value. Good chunk of copper right here. Let's have a look at that. Very nice. So anyways, end of question for comments. Feel free to ask and thanks for watching.